Good morning! How are you today, multipliers? Good morning. <laughs> I'm just like waiting for you to continue. Okay. <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> what we're working on. No, so it's great to be with you guys this fine morning. Just take a quick sip of your coffee or whatever you're drinking. I have juice. Chocolate milk. <laughs> Breakfast of champions. You know, um, but you know, juice, chocolate milk, mugs, what do all these things have in common? They're drinks? Well, mugs aren't. Oh. They were all purchased at Walmart. Oh, okay, Today, yes. Today, go ahead, Judah. Today, we thought it'd be fun if we did a little episode of the people of Walmart. The wonderful people of Walmart. We yes. The store we can't help but shop at. We can't help but be there. Who can't? Uh, but yeah, we are constantly there, and there's constantly some weird people. That is true. Some wacky. There so start us out, you know, with your weird person at Walmart. Okay, well, don't look for a minute. I have to scroll back up to the top. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so my first one is this lovely person right here. What? I don't even know what's going on here. It's like a dread <laughs> braid. Like it's all like you know, it's not dreadlocks. It's dreadlock. It may be his real hair though. Oh, I think it's definitely, most definitely his yeah, real hair. Yeah, he's kind of like a lumberjack. There is no way that's not his real <laughs> hair. That, that's just weird though. That is pretty. And crazy. like not only that, I'm he's like rocking the capri rolled up uh, overalls, and we got some nice plaits. So he's winning on a lot of levels. I think he's know? trying to be a lumberjack. Or maybe he is a lumberjack. But like that's like a giant root he just grew off the top of his head. Like he just like slaps people with it. I can see that. <laughs> so uh, my first one, Judah, is we're all looking for love. Luckily, you and I have found it. <laughs> but you never knew that Cupid lived at Walmart. Interesting. So I don't know if this guy is just you know rocking it for Valentine's Day, maybe Halloween. <laughs> but I gotta say he got he gets an A for effort because we all know Cupid wears a white V-neck. Oh yeah. Uh, his bow is that small, actually. Uh, his... <laughs> and it has little suctions on the end. <laughs> mm -hmm. And yeah, he has little, you know, things up there rocking. Oh yeah. So I mean, I am impressed by this guy. Hopefully, if you guys are looking for love, Cupid's at Walmart. He's at Walmart. Aisle three. <laughs> My next one, I, it, I don't even know if this guy's real. Like at first, I thought he was a mannequin. But then I was like, no, it's a, a fat Slenderman under there. It's a fat Slenderman. It's a Slenderman? That's supposed to be a Slenderman, probably. I would have oh. to say. That's got to be a fat Slenderman. That could be what it is. But his... I still would be very odd walking through Walmart and you see just this, like... Yeah. Like, is he going to rob the place or, like... He's going through all the different... Everywhere you go, he follows yeah. you and you find little notes written on the frozen section. I could see it. It's a bit sketchy. That just surprised me. I didn't know what he was trying to be. He's also in the gaming section. That's true. So it's probably like a game Point. release or something like that. But still... Very odd. Why is he so tubby? He got he ate so many children. <laughs> That's probably what's happened. Uh, this next one um, is interesting in its own right. A little disturbing. So I don't know if you can tell what. Oh, my thing went away. What is on this lady's leg, Judah? Can you tell what that is? Is that? It's a pee. That's a pee bag. <laughs> that's a catheter. She taped it to her leg. So I don't know. Is that normally where they are? <laughs> I don't. Like, I you know I. I feel like you wear pants. I do like, conceal it. I do find my, try to to encourage myself to know as many things about as many things I can. <laughs> but uh, urinal bags, pee bags is not That's something not I've, I've done studies into. No, I can. I don't want to try either, quite I'm, frankly. But you gotta ask yourself the question. Uh, You're right. Would you not tape something over it? Just um, maybe she's in a competition to win that cart. If she sits her, keeps her hand out longer, she wins the cart. She's like, I gotta go pee. Ugh, that's really but cool. like on so many levels, that's like disturbing. what if it comes untaped? Like all of a sudden, it's just like you feel something <laughs> wet down your leg. It's like, oh, that kid poked it and now oh. it popped. I mean, what happens? Where's the line? Oh, that's really nasty. Okay, so this is the next one. This is someone on a cart at Walmart, like one of the motor carts, and she has all just her whole family riding on it. Absolutely. Like, I feel like. That's not what they're for. Like, and I feel like she doesn't need to be on it anymore. Probably not, but she knows well saying her son's even reading a book down there. Yeah, like they're comfortable. Like they're you know, rocking it. They didn't just hop on there for a second. Nope. No, they've been riding it. They are enjoying themselves. <laughs> they're like, let's go shop around it's probably, Walmart. It's probably like their weekly trip. Like, hey guys, like, you wanna go ride the motor? We go to Silver Walmart? City, they're like, let's go to Walmart and get on one of those they cards. Tell their, they tell their friends, you wanna go go-kart race it? like go-kart riding, and they think that's what it is. Aisle six is a tight one. We gotta get through there. <gasps> That is crazy. I love that the kid's reading a book. This one's just, 
One of those questions where you have to ask, what, why, and what? I mean, this guy is rocking already the weird red outfit, but to put the fur boots, the fur hat, I think that's a guy. I'm 90% sure that's a guy. I, I kind of hope it's a girl, but yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, I'm pretty it's a sure guy. It's a guy. <laughs> like, where, what, and what, why? Why would you dress, why would you dress like this? I'm just and hoping If you dress like this, I'm not making fun of you. Just let me know why. What drives you to want to dress like this? Maybe he's going to a costume party, but I doubt it. I think this is this guy's daily outfit. Oh my, I hope not. Okay, my next one is this lady holding this little boy in her little sling thing. Oh my goodness. Like, he's like five. He's like, yeah, he's, he's like, not a little kid. Like, why is she hearing he's him like that? He's straight up like, I mean, because he runs off. Junior, <laughs> get back over here. I'm going to stick you on my belly. But I feel like this is, like, you know those people that don't want to put their kids on a leash? Like, with I guess. Like, this, this is, is worse. This is more demeaning. Like, it's like, this is like... I guess at least if she doesn't, if she has to bend down, she has to go as far because he can grab it. <laughs> I mean... I mean, it might be like Junior. But I feel like her back is going to be killing her. Like, I mean, he's a big boy. He's a big kid. That is a little weird. Now, speaking of strapping, <laughs> I saw the next one I asked to pick. So, speaking of strapping kids to your back, you ever go to Walmart and think to yourself, man, I wish I would have brought my cat. No, but then you think to yourself, never. oh, but when I pet my cat, well, I put him down, he runs away. I pet my cat, I get hair on my hands. So, okay, let me strap my cat to my back. That's really funny how we both got a strapping one. <laughs> this woman is first off. She's obviously she's hitting the sauce. You can see she's uh, she's in a certain section of Walmart. Oh yeah. But uh, but then I, you you look here. That is a cat strapped to her back. I'm pretty sure it's a. That's a kid. Is that a kid? That's or is a that baby a, doll. Oh, it's a baby doll. <laughs> what? Okay, got weirder. <laughs> it just got weirder. That's Why? Not a cat. I was like, you can see hands. Well, I thought it was a see. I thought it was like. I could see what you meant. That's yeah. really fluffy. That's actually it. That is a big. Okay, got just weirder and more confusing. So she's what just happened? A so she has fake a baby. A fake baby. <laughs> she, comment down below. <laughs> comment down below. I don't know, Judah. That is just beyond me. That's the sort. Okay, my next one. Dan already saw because he was peeping. I and, didn't mean to peep. It was okay. Accident. I don't like lady. If, oh my goodness! If you poop your pants, change them. Well, I don't know that's I don't know that's poop. I think that may be sweat. Like. Well, it's poopy sweat because it's brown. Yeah, it's you know it got maybe, stuck in the okay, bridges maybe, and just. I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt, and I'm hoping they're clean. It's just stained that way because she maybe because she's worn them so much. They're just like 50 years old. But it's like first off, ugh, there's just a lot of levels of this. It just one. looks like she had a mess in her pants. And it's it does look like that. Ugh. My next one also involves pants, but uh, in a slightly different way. Uh, this is another cart roller, <laughs> but like literally. Is that real? I'm pretty sure it's real. It's like, what is that? Like, does she, maybe she's stealing stuff and sticking it in there, and she's just like, I, like some pillows. Wow, wait, that's crazy. That's just insane. I don't, I don't feel like it, that would be the weight limit. Like, I feel like that'd be breaking it. I feel like there's a lot of laws of gravity that are being defined. Like, something <laughs> is wrong. A human body is being just like, it's like, no, you shall not pass. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. I don't know. I'm confused. I'm bewildered. Oh my goodness. That's my goodness. next one. And this one is ironic because it's like these nastily tight in a certain area type pants. And it says sexy on the booty. And I just don't even know what this is. I mean, I, well, maybe, maybe, <laughs> she, I mean, that's probably one of those things you walk through and she's like, found these. I, I don't, she probably bought them at Walmart, actually. Probably, but it's just like, ugh, why? I agree. Well, my last one here, Judah, is <laughs> kind of one of your other ones. It's a poopy pants one also. <laughs> no, I was just playing poop. That's, that's like, there ain't no, like, that's not sweat. It's that's, not even the butt crack. It's just all done. That's just poop. <laughs> That is some straight up dookie in his drawers. Do they not know when they do that? Like, or maybe it's yours not her. I I don't I don't know. I I have but walked by people that like whenever I worked at a Christian bookstore, there were people that I could tell did something in their pants, and they yep. just kept walking around. Like, like that kid in the story. Yeah, like yesterday. the story yesterday. If you didn't see that, watch it. Yeah. I know it's like people just don't. I don't. I do not get it. I don't get how you can walk out of the house. I. I, I have a. Uh, I've definitely seen some weird things at Walmart for sure. Uh, but I did see one time a lady literally had poop all down her leg. Like not like. I mean like I could see the poop down her leg. 
Like it was bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, yep. Any, any, any more? Do you have any more? That was my last one. So people at Walmart, do you guys know of some funnier ones, crazier ones? Please don't go to Walmart like that. Don't go out and be rocking the stuff like that's if, that's crazy. Someone's gonna take a picture of you too, it's and they're gonna, gonna put over, it on the site, and then we're gonna talk about it on the show, and yeah. it's gonna be a whole big thing. Yep. And you're not going to get any royalties from it. It's just no. going to be, nope. So don't do it. I, I don't know. Let us know your crazy Walmart stories. It's the craziest people you bumped into because there are some crazy people out there for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Let them know in the comments down below. Anything else, Judah, before we roll on to the focus? Nope. All right. Let's do it. So on to the focus today, Judah. Uh, what we're talking about, what we're doing, what God's doing in our lives. Where are you at? I was reading in Ephesians today. Okay. I read the first couple chapters, and it was basically talking about, well, the first chapter was kind of on, like, spiritual blessings in Christ, but then the next one was talking about, like, being saved through grace and everything. And um, I really had a verse that really stood out to me, and it said, um, But God, being rich in mercy because of the great love which he, with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. And... I wrote in my margins, Christ loved those who hated and rebelled against him. Despite their sin, he chose to die for them. Like, it talks about, like, when they were sinning and, like, doing the horrible things that we all do, he loved us, and that's when he decided to die for us. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And it just showed me that, like, which is ironic, because tonight we were talking about how it's, you know, loving people is not always easy. It's not always easy. And I read this passage today, and I was like, wow, God loved us so much that he died for us in our worst time. Like, you know what I mean? And that just really, really stood out to me. I think it does. I mean, like, it, life is like, it's not easy to do this. Like, I mean, you know, a lot of Christians get chalked up to being hypocrites and other things like that because people think like, oh, we're just, you know, a bunch of people who just talk a lot and don't do any action. But it's genuinely to follow Christ is not an easy thing to do. You know, and, 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 you know, but Jesus lived that out. I mean, when he died on the cross, I mean, he died for each of us. He took every sin ever committed and put it on his shoulders, bore our sin for him. I mean, and, and you think about the fact that, like, you never really think about the fact that he died for the people who killed him, mm -hmm. like the people who were torturing him. Not only he that, as he was doing, he said, for God, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, and so it's this crazy thing to think about and a crazy legacy to live up to. Um, and, you know, I was kind of on that too, Judah, in a little bit. I, I, I've been, you know... Multimedia, all this is my dream. Like, beyond my dream. Mm -hmm. Judah can attest to this. My mom and dad, pretty much everybody who spends much time with me can attest to this. It's just, it fills my being. Like, this is what God has called me to do. And he's told me a lot of, in my prayer, what I've done, there's a lot of crazy stuff that doesn't make sense to a lot of people if I was to tell them about it. When I really feel like God's calling us to with this ministry. But it's so pivotal. But waiting on the Lord's time is so difficult. Mm -hmm. um, I'm the kind of guy who I get really worked up for something. I get super duper worked up. Like Judah can attest to this because uh, if she gets me a Christmas present, I'm like all over that. I'm oh, like, yeah. I need that present right now. Like it's what's hard. I don't like. I like to make people wait for their surprises, but he he'll try to talk you into it. And I, 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 I'm kind of guy who would literally be fine with knowing I'm going to get it on t December 25th as long as I know what it is. Mm -hmm. Like, I have to know what it is. Like, it just drives me crazy. That's what it's like with this. And, like, I, I, now your dream may not be to start a Christian entertainment entity. That may not be your, your dream in life. But God calls us to do things, whether it be just to serve Him, whether just to be a follower of Christ, to, to forgive and love when it's not easy. And sometimes it's, we have to sit back and say, we have to trust God perfect timing mm -hmm. because timing I if, if God gave me the keys of the kingdom and said here's what you're gonna do on this and this day I'd mess it up between here and then because there's so many things that have to happen and you know today we were talking about all the stuff in life that's insanity and drives us crazy but we have to realize God has timing that's perfect for for what he's gonna do and if he told us we'd mess it up so maybe you're struggling right now with it I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing in my life I don't know where I'm supposed to do I feel like I need to do I need to go and be a missionary. Maybe you need to be called in the pastor. Maybe you think you need to be more involved in the church. But you're like, I just don't know how to do it. 
Trust God's timing and take steps in that direction. Me and Judah, we may not be at where we feel like God's calling us to be at, but we understand we can't just sit and just sit and expect it to happen one day that there's this massive audience on here who we can go through and talk. It's gonna take hard work and dedication on our part. And the same thing with you is you may be struggling to figure out what your place in this world is as a Christian, as a believer, but you have to dive in and walk towards it and begin the movement. Put the work in now right. and God will do God will deliver later because He's there. There. He has a plan. And Jeremiah talks about a plan for good, not for evil, that he'll bring you through. So maybe today you're struggling with that. I hope that encourages you because God really does have a plan for your life. He really does have a plan for you. Not, not, and, you know, and, and sometimes, you know, you may sit back and, and wonder, what's that plan look like? I don't look like everyone else around me who says that God, they know what God's plan is. But God's plan for you may be that you're an open vessel, somebody who's willing to just do whatever's necessary. And that's kind of how I am. You know, like I, Dan and I were talking tonight, like he's always the one that knows what we're doing. He always has a dream, always has a plan that he wants to do. And like, I've never been that person. I'm always the one that's like, well, God, use me where you will, but I don't really know. I was mm -hmm. never called like, I'm going to be a pastor's wife or I'm going to be a missionary. I never knew what mm -hmm. I was going to really be. You know what I mean? So just being open to God too, you know, he can use you in that sense if Absolutely. you're open. Um, and, and like you said in Jeremiah 29, 11, I think it's cool because no one ever really realizes the verse that comes after that, Jeremiah 29, 13. And I just wrote that in my Bible today. And it says, and you will seek me and find me when you seek me with your whole heart. Mm -hmm. I think that's really cool. When you give it to him. And I think that's the point. If you can say, God, truly use me, make me what you want me to make me. I will do what you want me to do. That's when God can truly do something. But when I start putting my restrictions and my dreams over what God is, then I don't receive the fulfillment. When I say, God, whatever happens, happens. And I trust you. I have faith in you. I know you'll bring me through it. Then you realize something truly beautiful. And that's the never, you have nothing. And you realize you have everything. And, and, and when you're scared, you realize you don't have to be scared. And there's so much comfort that comes with trusting in the Lord and trusting Him to bring us through. That is the beautiful thing, guys. So that's what we're going to leave you with today is that God knows the plan. That God wants you, that, that loving like God is not easy, but it's worth it. And that there's many parts to the body and you are one. And God has a plan for you in this body. But are you willing to seek Him and seek Him with your whole heart? Mm -hmm. Guys, so much thank you so much for watching our videos. I know we took a little hiatus this week in the first two episodes of, with us moving and everything, but we're back in full of steam. Guys, but if you like what we're doing here, it would help us immensely if you share our videos. Mm -hmm. Let people know what we're doing. Me and Judah are on Facebook and Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, you can follow us there. I'm on Instagram. Judah's on Instagram. With nails by Jude. Uh, you can find all the stuff. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, my nail page? Yeah, well, I mean, her other page is private. I so. have a normal page, too. <laughs> but anyways, you can follow us everywhere get everything we're doing guys but if you can share our videos let people know i mean to tell you guys why we do this and you this part of the video you're probably a true fan i think i've talked about this recently before but it's just so cool we've been viewed in 195 countries out of 196 in the world and and that's amazing to think of the places we've been able to go that we shouldn't be able to go. The things God's doing with this ministry, this isn't just something we're doing for fun. This is something that can be exciting, fun, glorifying, but at the same time can really change lives. So everything you guys do for support is amazing. Now, I don't really do this, and this is probably one of the few times I'll ever do this, but there is a button down there that says support this channel, and you can support us monetarily, subscription-wise, sharing all these different things, but guys, whatever you can do really makes the difference for us. for us. And praying, pray prayer, prayer, please pray for us. Mm -hmm. It means the world. Well, we've ran over our time today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I just thank you for all that you do because every time you watch one of these videos, it warms our heart. So, um, But as always, I'm Dan. And I'm Judah. God bless. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.